In this lecture, we'll be taking a look at how we can install React Native on Mac operating system and use it for our mobile iOS. The first thing that we need to do is install Homebrew, which we can do by visiting the Homebrew web page, that's brew.sh, and copying this whole line from here into our terminal. So here you can see that we are inside the root directory, and there we have executed this command without the sudo. If you will run it with sudo, it will say that don't run this as root. And without the sudo one, it will install this script and it will ask for your confirmation at a couple of points where you just need to press enter key. And once that's done, you will be coming to the command prompt. And here you can see that it says brew help. You can just type it over here to find out whether brew has been installed successfully or not. So let's do that brew help press enter now and there you go this confirms that brew has been installed successfully next we'll be making use of the brew command to install node and watchman so let's go ahead and do that so here in our terminal we'll type brew install node press enter now and you can see that it has started the downloading there you go we have installed node now next we need to install watchman so here in our terminal we'll be typing brew install watchman press enter now there you go we have successfully installed node and watchman and then we need to install the react native command line tools so over here we'll first check it with npm install command in case you get error just prefix sudo with it so there you go it says that try running this command again as root or administrator so let's do that now i'll say sudo and then npm install minus g react native cli press enter it will ask for a password you need to enter your system password press enter and we are done with react native command line tools as well please note that we need to also have xcode installed which you can install from the app store and once you have installed xcode the setup process will be complete and in the next lecture we'll see how we can create our first react native application